So let's go and take a look at this one and see how else can we you know, kind of write the answer. Because if I don't give you a constraint of solve an answer on 0 and 2 pi, then we're going to have a uh, we're going, to have a, we're going to have a problem, which I'll show you on the graph. We're not going to have a problem, but we're going to have to learn a different way to write the answer. So the main important thing, when we want to solve for our value t, you guys remember this. You just use your inverse operations. Then we divide by 2. And you could say cosine of t equals 1 half, right? So what were your values of t when cosine equals 1 half? Now, when we looked at the interval of 0 and 2 pi, we like to use the unit circle because the unit circle is an interval of 0 to 2 pi, right? So it's pretty basic to say, all right, you know, when is cosine equal to 1 half? And we could say it's going to be at those two values, right? You could say, well, then it's t equals uh, pi thirds and t also equals, um, say, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi. 5 pi over 3, right? That makes sense. And that was on the interval of 0 to 2 pi. Those were your two solutions. But ladies and gentlemen, is the cosine graph just go to 0 to 2 pi? No, it keeps on going on and on. Let's, let's go and take a look at the cosine graph. For as far as I can draw it, 1, 2, 3, 4. Cosine graph goes up, up to positive 1, down to negative 1. Looks something like that, right? That's the interval from 0 to 2 pi, right? But does this graph stop there? No, the graph is going to continue going on and on and on. Do you need me to just assign real quick? Yeah. OK. Just right. Yep. OK, thank you. All right. Now, let's look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you see this, this graph goes on and on, right? And then it goes on and on and on and on and on forever. So can you honestly, can we look at this and we say cosine equals 1 half? That means at this value, when cosine is equal to 1 half, we said there's two answers at pi thirds and at 5 pi thirds on the interval of 0 to 2 pi. However, if you look at the whole graph, is that the only place that is cosine is going to equal 1 half? Or at cosine of 1 half, those are the only two solutions? No. You're going to have a solution here, 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 here. Right? So if I don't put a restriction on 0 to 2 pi, we're going to start having infinite many solutions, right? Because the cosine graph keeps on going. So the way that we like to write our solution, if I don't put a constraint, is we can say it's going to be 3 pi, or pi thirds, plus what is this distance going around? That's coterminal angle, right? So what do we have to do to go back to the same angle? Add 2 pi. So you say plus 2 pi. Now, how many times could we go around 2 pi? Infinite many times, right? So we're going to give this a variable, um, all this guy, 2 pi n. Okay, where n represents how many intervals you, know, you want to go around. Because you can go around once, twice, three times, whatever. And then the same thing. You're going to go to this angle. That's between 0 and 2 pi. But then we want to go around again. So we could say plus 2 pi n. So we have 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi n. Those are, those are the answers, yes. No, you don't have to add it? No, because yeah, you don't know what n is. n is your variable that you don't know. So it's the exact same yes answer, but it, it's just saying when I don't give you a constraint, you understand that there's infinite many answers that we're going to have. So we have to represent that like that. All right? So I write that, or I show you guys that.